George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The jungle is a dark and dangerous place, especially with deadly spears flying through the air. <laughs> George! This is the poisonous asparagus, George. We need the kind you eat. Well, how can you tell the difference? Okay, bananas, check. Hmm. What's monkey thumb? That's, uh, my thumb on the list. Oh, so we already got it. Check! You gather these other ingredients while I go home and start dinner. <laughs> Mushroom, check. <gasps> Carrot, check. Hmm. George saw this plant once before. A long time ago. Oh, not that long ago. That's it! <laughs> ah, George remembers the good old days. Good. Feels good to remember. Oh, I should remember here, too. Yeah. Oh, remember this? And this? Yeah, I remember. Ah. No! Once there was an ape, a great, great ape, the greatest ape of all. Oops. <laughs> oh, hey. Sometimes you just gotta sing it. The, the greatest, greatest ape of all. <gasps> George, what happened? Your face is all red and swollen. Oh, now I call that color more sunrise vermilion, but you're definitely swollen. Don't be silly. Don't be. <laughs> Hey, Ape, when did we get this big red talking balloon? Uh, I am afraid it's itchy swellitis. The worst thing you can possibly do is to scratch it. So George should get Fred to scratch. No, no. Scratch with a stick? Mm-mm. Let in his scratchy tree head first? Uh, no. The only antidote is this. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. Hmm. <laughs> ah, memories. <laughs> I mean, no! George will never take that stuff again! <laughs> <laughs> that was years ago. We have a new formula now. It tastes like uh, a bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> The itch of a thousand scratches! There's only one cure. You must bathe in a bathtub of crocodile spit under the full moon. That's ridiculous! <laughs> yeah! Then where can George get that much crocodile spit? I just got a shipment. Loofah? No medicine, no spit, no loofah. George just won't scratch and everything will be fine. <laughs> George! No medicine, no medicine! Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nice work, Chef. George, just drink the medicine. No. It'll cure you. No. But it's delicious. I'll prove it. Hey, show us how yummy this is. Be right back. George has had it with friends' unflinching support. Trying to take care of George, worried about his health, looking out for his happiness. Enough! Ow! Itchy! 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 George, we're very worried about you. 
Throw away. And we've come up with a way to help you without the medicine. Oh, you invented porcupine pajamas? It's not clothing exactly. It's more of uh, an accessory. Oh, how long does George have to wear this? Until your itch goes away. George, looky, we can decorate it. Hmm, not bad. Put a cone on my face. We wouldn't have to do this if you just drink the medicine. Can't drink without a mouth. No. No, George. And I say the words itch, ah. scratch. Oh, oh blessed relief. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold, oh, hold. Oh. Ah! 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 Hey! Ah! I'm sorry, George. That was partially our fault. You can't work if you're scratching all the time. And what can you be if you're not king of the jungle? A convenient dinner? Oh, don't be ridiculous. All you've done is be supportive and helpful. George needs a friend who will let him scratch his butt off. Oops, did that yesterday. And so our inflamed idol tried hard not to scratch, but he tried even harder to get scratched. Uh, whoa, you got a lot of cones. <laughs> let me guess, supportive friends? Yeah. Then I've got a big surprise for you. Follow me. Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Whoa! What is this place? A place where animals are free to scratch! <laughs> it's... it's so... beautiful! Welcome to the land of the animals who refuse to take that pink medicine! They try to fool us with the bubblegum flavor, but it's all the same stuff! Horrible liquid! Horrible liquid! No! The problem isn't the yucky, nasty blah, <laughs> medicine. The problem is our friends. Yeah! yeah. Our friends. Our friends. Let's eat them! Yeah! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends! Eat our friends. No. We have to educate our friends. For without education, friends are just stupid people we know. Well, how do we educate our friends? A, a brochure? We could post flyers. I've got it! Welcome, friends who used to be friends. We hope tonight's show will shine a light on a big social problem. Curtains, please! <laughs> <laughs> Got an itch right here on my derriere And my scratching finger is so oh so near Bamboo, bamboo well, You can reach it with a stiff bamboo What's black and white and red all over It's your son Just because we're swelling, swelling. Doesn't mean that we're not swell. They just don't understand. We, we want, want to scratch each other's hand. <laughs> to scratch <laughs> the impossible it. Ain't it swell? Ain't it red? Gonna scratch a big itch on my head. Bigger big nails down my tail. Could we have been so supportive? 
Ursula, only human. A toast to the magnificent and very swollen cast. To greater understanding. <laughs> 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 Sneaky, conniving friends trick George into getting better. Ah, uh, look on the bright side, George. Now you can help me with my idea for a new musical. It's about a young ape with big dreams and a, and a lot of spunk. I call it the greatest ape of all. <laughs> George has never run so fast. <laughs> never paddled so powerfully. <laughs> and never lingered so little over his chili cheese mango. Could George get that to go? Don't worry. George will get you back to your mommy, little... <laughs> chili cheese mango? No! Oh. Yuck! Where's my baby? Don't worry, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it's George's cousin, Larry of the Jungle. Note his fancy loincloth, impractical shoes, and his love for Cousin George. Oof! I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Larry! Hey, George, see how I saved that baby taper? Did you see it? I got a trophy. Look, it's shiny. It sure is. Lucky I brought my trophy case. You sure have a lot of trophies, Cousin Larry. Well, you only win if you're a winner, and I'm a winner, George. Hugging contest? I win. Come on, Seven. Oh, no, Snake Mouth. Don't you mean Snake Eyes? No, I mean Mouth. He ate the dice. <laughs> Oh, no, it's George's cousin, Larry. A guest! Maybe he brought presents! Uh, Larry is completely obnoxious. Ever since they were little kids, he had to beat George at everything. My sandcastle's bigger than yours. I win! My shovel's bigger than yours. I win! My pet is... <laughs> smaller than yours. I win! Oh, I thought I had you on that one. And George never calls him on it. Why not? George is just too nice to realize that Larry is a conniving troublemaker. <laughs> I got here first. I win. Yeah. Cousin Larry, you remember Ape. Hi, Ape. I said hi first. I win. Hi, Larry. And this is Ursula and Magnolia. A board game? Let me play. I have my own dice. 85. I win. Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, he's the always winning guy. Funny. You must be tired after dragging that beautiful trophy case all the way here. Join us for dinner? Race you to that tree. Lose a dozen dishes. I win. Enthusiastic. I like that. First place three-legged race. First person to climb Mike Everest. Uh, a guy he went to school with. <laughs> Guess who lost again to Larry? Hey, hey. I just rifle through your closet. You know who has the most blue shirts? Me! Let's celebrate me winning by going on a picnic. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Sorry to make you guys carry everything, but I did beat you at the having fewest letters in your name contest. Wait a minute. I have the shortest name. Animals not included, no take backs, no give backs, no double whammies. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's relax for a little while before we eat. <laughs> Ooh, who's most relaxed? Me, I'm not even moving. I win. I get to jump on everyone's stomach. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. I never get this angry. I don't get tired of new shoes as fast as I'm getting tired of cousin Larry. Shh. Larry's winning sleeping contest. Mm -hmm. Win. Win. George, we hate to say this, but Cousin Larry has to go! Shh! We can't kick out George's family! Oof. 
Yes, we can. In fact, let's have a contest to see how far out we can kick him. But Larry gave us the picnic! Don't you see? He's a winaholic. He only picks games he can't lose. I hate to say this, George, but I'm in complete agreement. Ha! There, see? No, George, with Magnolia. Boy, Abe changes mind pretty quick. I always agreed with Magnolia. I don't like him. None of us do. Also, we believe he cheats. <gasps> George will sit on forgetting Rock now until he forgets what Abe just said. I forget. Where is Forgetting Rock? So, George sat upon the Forgetting Rock, and he forgot. He forgot and forgot until he couldn't remember what he was forgetting. <laughs> Big hairy beast is growling, but George forgets what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen this guy anywhere? George's cousin Larry. Yeah, he's staying with me and Ape, but Ape was mean to him. Uh-oh, George was supposed to forget that. Forget. Beat Larry, beat Larry. Hey, wait, George won't let you hurt Larry. We won't hurt Larry. We Yeti are scary but peaceful creatures. We do not fight with our fists. We fight by eating pies, you see. We Yeti take great pride in our pie eating, and each spring, we win the annual Pie Gobbling Holdown. For centuries, Yetis have won. This year, we were robbed. We are absolutely convinced that Larry cheated at... Yeah? Uh, I forgot. There's no way Larry ate more pies than a Yeti. They're famous for that and stealing Mountaineer's girlfriends. He must have cheated. George will prove Larry's no cheater at a jungle pie gobbling rematch with that bunch of sore loser yetis. Yetis? Um, you know, George, maybe instead we can just flip a coin. Look, I have one right here. <laughs> hmm, why so nervous, Larry? You win every contest, remember? Maybe we could do this at night. Uh, in the dark, I'm usually hungrier around 9, 9.30? Nope, broad daylight, so everyone will see Larry win. Will there be a pie-eating puppy under the table? No way! Plus, George has a dozen unbribable monkey judges examine every pie. Oh, ow, my stomach, my head, my throat, my ankles! Larry's award-winning champion stomach, head, throat, ankles hurts? It's a rare two-hour virus. No problem. I'll just tell everyone to wait. I mean, 22-hour virus. George will have to eat in my place. <laughs> Please, George, we're family. Oh, all right. George will do it for family. Yeah! <laughs> George, you don't have to do this. Larry can forfeit. Never! Then everyone might think Cousin Larry is a cheater. <sighs> Ready? <sighs> Begin! George to win. Oh, oh. George, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't think you'd believe me. But Larry made a bet that you would lose. What? Ow. Larry not sick? Larry cheated? I bet my room in the treehouse that you can do without cheating what he can only do with fake stomachs and pie-eating dogs in his pants. I believe in you, George. George won't let Ape down. For once, George going to beat lying, cheating, faking Larry. Let's do this! Come <laughs> on. 
to give this trophy to your loving, much more deserving cousin to the first Yeti to chase Cousin Larry out of the jungle. Yeah. What? <laughs> when? <laughs> George, that was amazing. To celebrate, let's go out to dinner. Uh oh. I think I think I'm gonna be. Get a garbage can. Get a garbage truck. <laughs> For 